Kelly, Hector found him, buddy. All this time, he was down there in that bottom deepest hole. Let me come up here and show him to you. Check that out, guys. Up here on the river again today, Hector and I are getting ready to transform this existing pond where my friend has recently bought this home. And they've inherited this little jewel. And you'll see it right over here to my left. It's got some killer lilies down inside of it. Let me get everything set up here and get ready to go to work. And I'll give you guys a close up of what it looks like before we get started. Since the home has been purchased, the homeowner has noticed that the existing pump did not work at all. So he has bought a temporary pump that he has just ran up here and it is trickling through those existing filter pads. Now, take a look at how this tree is growing up just outside the liner. That's not actually supposed to be there. We will be trimming a lot of this overgrown vegetation out and a lot of this dead stuff that you see, I'm gonna do my best to get down in there and give it the Tanner Flowers OCD touch and get every single piece of that dead leaf slash plant debris outside of this water column and have this thing looking brand new once again as soon as Hector and I get finished with this pond service. I'm down here actually inside the pond now beginning to trim all of this dead stuff back just currently piling it up here on the sides as you can see let me go slow here we've got a lot of trimming to do and i will give you guys a further progress shot once we get the majority of all of this removed hector and i have already filled up that entire contractor bag right there to the right of hector just from right there where I started all the way to right there you can see we've already cut that maple completely out of there that wasn't supposed to be in there at all and then if I turn around right here and show you Hector's already got all of that out of here and now I'm getting ready to start getting these lilies out of here and set them over there inside our container so that we can begin cleaning the pond you will see now that we have gotten the majority of the water outside of the pond. Hector and I have also been removing the existing lily pads and putting them over there inside of our holding tank. All of these rocks right here to our right have been removed from the bottom of the pond where evidently in years past, a lot of this rock has collapsed down inside the pond. Once we get all of this clean, I will do my best to restack some of this for my buddy Kelly, who is eagerly anticipating seeing this thing running again. You can see Hector really getting all of those old rocks clean. I was actually quite surprised to find out that that little pond right there was about 12 inches deeper than I ever thought it was. And if you look right down there where that water is hitting from the pressure washer, look at all that muck that is getting rinsed out of all of that smaller rock. And we're trying to get all of that broken down and we're gonna let that water accumulate until it fills that cavity up over there a little bit more. And then we will switch back on our utility pump and then pump all of that nasty water back over there next to the tree where we are watering that beautiful specimen. We are up here now washing out this old Bow Falls return. This thing had this whole five gallon bucket full of old sediment down in the bottom of it. It was like aquarium rock. We've got all of those out of there. Did all that by hand. Valentine is sucking out the last bit of that dirt now with a shot back. We've got to get down in here, finish getting that last little bit of muck out down in there in the deepest point. And once we finish doing that, we'll be able to restack this last little bit of rock that we've got out of the bottom and begin filling the pond back up. Stay tuned. How this pond has been holding water, I have no clue. That piece of aluminum right there is one of many pieces along with screws, nails, shingles, 
old pieces of aluminum roofing were all inside this pond once again we have gotten already two full contractor bags working on filling up a third one we've almost got this thing completely cleaned out but i was just shocked at all this debris and sharp pointed objects that have been found down in the bottom of this pond kelly hector found him buddy all this time he was down there in that bottom deepest hole. Let me come up here and show him to you. There's one of your frogs. Oh man. There's one and there should be another one. <laughs> and now that we've gotten pretty much everything out of the bottom of that pond that is able to come out, we're taking all of that old aquarium gravel that was not supposed to be in those biofalls at all. And look at how we're going back and decorating in between where we have actually restacked the majority of this rock work because keep in mind a whole lot of this rock that you are seeing right now came from the bottom of that pond reservoir where it had fallen down inside of it no telling how many years ago what do you think about this job Hector? Hi. Hector say hi to all your fans they won't see that preface there he is <laughs> And now before we put any of these plants back inside, Valentine is over here rinsing them off, getting all of this dirt off of here. Dude, that's a monster right there. Look at how big that set of lilies is. Let me get these handed down here to Hector now and see what place he decides to put that for perfect placement. Check it out. It better look natural whenever you get done. Okay, you did a good job. Yeah, that's a good spot. Mucho bueno, mi hermano. Mucho bueno. Oh, tucking the roots down in between the rocks, huh? Yeah. Oh, is this your first pond build? <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you're ready because this thing looks totally different than it did whenever we first arrived this morning. Hector and Valentin and myself, we've got every piece of dead shrubbery, bush, plant, you name it. It's gone out of here, guys. We were able to identify that Kelly did have a faulty pump, which I have already contacted my buddy Brad. And as soon as that thing arrives, I will come out here, get that new pump installed and get these biofalls up and running again. Let me spin it around real quick and show you guys all this detail work. All of the water is still settling where we just got everything back up and running. Hector has got all the plants situated. Notice if you'll look around, look how we took those aquarium gravels and went and covered every single bit of exposed dirt or exposed liner. We were able to take all of that rock that we were able to find in the bottom of the pond, restack it, and we were almost able to cover everything but that right there, but we ran out of rock. But there it is, guys. Looking totally different once again than it did this morning. Let me back up and get it all in the shot for you. Check that out. Remember all those overgrown trees and all that overgrown vegetation that was right over there? Look at how clean and lush that corner is now. Let me step right over here. Give you guys one more final shot. Look at that lily already blooming. You know it's happy. Look at all of that moss on that rock. This thing is going to look great, guys. Hector and Valentine are down there waiting on me, guys. We'll talk to each and every single one of you inside our next project video.